These questions, uh, double sums on uh, NCR combos, uh, don't appear very often, but when they do, uh, they are very confusing if the first time you've met them is in an exam. Um, and basically, there are, there are two methods um, to solve them. The first one is, I find a little bit difficult, but I'm going to do the first method um, first, and then I'll show you a second method, which is, which is much quicker. So let's have a look at this first one here anyway. So it's the sum i equals 0 to n, j equals i to n, so it's a double summation of the uh, combo j, c, i. Okay, well, I'll tell you, let, let, let's just um, go through um, this outer loop and inner loop and see what these uh, series are. So, all right, let's have a look at here, i equals zero. Well, okay, well, when i equals zero, let's go into the inner loop. That is going to be um, i zero. Well, j goes from zero to n, so that is going to be uh, zero, c, zero, add, and then j is equal to one, one, c, zero, add, two, c, zero, add, da, 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 n, minus 1 c0 add n c0 that's when i equals 0 okay now let's have a look at when i equals 1 the second time we go through the loop that gives us uh, j starts at 1 then so we have 1 c1 add 2 c1 oh actually no sorry i'm going to i'm going to write this in a different way just to make it easier to see that you can uh, um, my apologies so let's go back there so i'm going to write it here so it's going to be uh, 1 c1 add that's a better way of writing it yeah 1 c1 add 2c1, add da, 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 add n minus 1c1, add nc1. And then when i equals 2, we're going to have uh, i equals 2, j goes from 2 to n this time. That will be 2c, I don't know where are we, 2c2, add da, 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 add n minus 1c2, add nc2. Then when i equals n minus 1, uh, that will give us n minus 1 c n minus 1 add n c n minus 1 and then finally when i equals n that will be the last time we go through this outer loop then we will only have j going from n to n which is only one which will be n c n okay now let's just go in another pen here uh, and let's just have a look at these here so let's sum that one and that one and that one and that one and that one Okay, so if we look at this, well, 0, C, 0, um, basically we're going to use the formula, um, the sum from n, k equals 0 to n of n, C, k is 2 to the n. We're going to use that. Um, and so basically this one here, the sum of this little bit, well, it is clearly just 2 to the 0. And then the next one here is 1, C, 0, add 1, C, 1. Well, that's 2 to the 1. And the next one here, 2, C, 0, add 2, C, 1, add 2, C, that's 2 to the 2, blah, blah, blah. And that's 2 to the n minus 1, and that's 2 to the n. So the sum of the whole lot of this is basically... 2 to the 0, add 2 to the 1, add 2 squared, add da, 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 add 2 to the n, which equals, that's just a geometric series, uh, that equals 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1, and that is the sum of that. Now, in actual fact, there's a simpler way, um, and even though we don't have much space here, because it's so much simpler, we don't need much space. So, okay, so what we're going to do um, is we're going to rewrite the sum i equals 0 j equals i n of j c i we're going to rewrite that as the sum well look if i goes from zero to n and j goes from i to n then we can rewrite that as i going from zero to n and j going from i to n of j c i okay and we can um rewrite that as from j equals 0, because j can go from 0 to n, j equals 0 to n, i equals 0 to j. So here i will be between 0 and j of j, c, i. And we know what this is, because it's basically, we've just written that formula there. So the sum i equals 0 to j of j, c, i is basically the sum from j equals 0 of uh, 2 to the power of j. And the sum from j equals 0 to n of 2 to the power of j, well, we've just done that here, is equal to 2 to the uh, 2 to the 1, add blah, 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 which equals 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. This way, uh, this second way here, sorry about the, the lack of space, um, but this second way here, if you can learn how to switch the double summation from i and j to j and i um, using this, then it's actually very simple and gives you the answer without having to go through all of this rigmarole. Okay, so that's the answer to the first question.
Now the second one is far harder um, on the face of it and we're going to have to go through again. Again, there's, there's a long way and there's a quicker way. So let's just do the long way first. What, what on earth is this doing? So let's have a look. It's going from j equals 0 to n, i equals j to n. So let's have a look at j equals 0 first. What, what's happening there? Well, at j equals 0, then we have the sum for n, i equals 0 of um, n, c, i, i, c, 0, because there the j would be 0, and that equals n, c, 0, 0, c, 0, add n c 1 1 c 0 add da, 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 add n c n n c 0 that's when j equals 0 i'm just expanding i'm putting j equals 0 and then expanding this out uh, in the inner summation now when j equals 1 we have the sum from i equals 1 to n of n c i i c 1 now because uh, now j equals 1 which equals nc1, 1c1, add nc2, 2c1, add da 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 da, add ncn, nc1. Okay, so have a look at j equals 2. Well, that's the sum between uh, n and i equals 2 of nci, ic2. And I will show it what I consider to be a far better way of doing this because this way. It is very slow in an exam, so we'll, we'll do it uh, using another way in a second. But let, anyway, let, let's just finish this off. IC2, which is NC2, 2C2, add NC3, uh, 3C2, add da 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 da, NCN, NC2. Okay, now let's just do uh, J equals N minus 1. We're almost uh, at the end now, so that will be the sum from i equals n minus 1 uh, to n of n c i i c n minus 1, which equals n c n minus 1, n minus 1 c n minus 1, add n c n n c n minus 1. Uh, and then the final one, let's just try and get it all on the same page, j equals n, that would be the sum from n i equals n. N, okay, well, of N C I I C N, which is basically N C N N C N. Okay, now if we uh, have a look at this, uh, what is the best way of me uh, showing this? Okay, so let's have a look at the. Uh, let, let's do another colour here. Let's do red. So if we have a look at the N C zeros, well, the only N C zero is that one, and let's have a look at the N C ones. Well, N C one, we've got that one. And that one and NC twos. Okay, well we we would have uh, if it was here we'd have two uh, C zero. We'd have NC two uh, two C zero. So we'd have two C zero add two C one add two C two. And if we go up to the NC ends, we would have NC zero add NC one add NC two blah blah add NC n minus one add NC n. Okay, now when we add all of these, obviously uh, let's do a different color pen. Um, this one here is 2 to the 0, and again using the same, that so 1c0 add 1c1 is 2 to the 1, and 2c0 add 2c1 add 2c2 is 2 squared, and all the way out to this one here, which is 2 to the n. And so adding all of that lot up, moving back to a black pen, um, equals the uh, summation from n k equals 0 to n of 2 to the power of k, times nck and we're very happy to have reached this point because in a previous video we showed that we can actually sum this by inspection and it equals um, 2 plus 1 to the power of n which equals 3 to the n. If you haven't watched the previous video uh, on, on why that is the case, please go and watch that. Now that is a nightmare in an exam, so I'm going to do this another way. So th this question here, I'm going to do it in a, in a second way. So let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's rewrite it. So we have the sum between j equals 0 and n, the sum between i equals j and n of n c i i c j. Okay, well we're going to use the same trick um, that we just used in the first one is that we're going to use this. Now, j goes from 0 to n and i goes from j to n. So basically that would be j goes from 0 to n and i goes from j to n. So we can rewrite it as that, n, c, i, i, c, j. My apologies there. 
Okay, now that term, we can rewrite that as the sum between i equals 0 and n. Well, i can go from 0 to n. Now, if i goes from 0 to n, then j goes from 0 to i. Um, the sum from j equals 0 to i of n, c, i, i, c, j. Okay, now the beauty of that is that because this term here is not involving j, we can move it out there. And again, if that is not familiar to you, please go and uh, uh, watch our previous video on uh, why and when you can move certain terms out of the inner, sum inner summation. So that equals the sum between i equals 0 and n of n c i, the sum i uh, j equals 0 to i, of I C J and we're almost there now because the beauty about this is that that we know um, is 2 to the power of I that's basically just the sum from J equals 0 to I of I C J so that's using uh, which formula uh, where is it the formula that I wrote up here um, that one okay so that's um, that's well known formula there which basically leaves us with the sum between i equals 0, n c i, 2 to the i, and again, that we have already dealt with in a previous video, that's very well known, the sum of that is equal to 1 add 2 to the n, which equals 3 to the n. Um, so that's how to do these. Um, I uh, implore you, if, if you're not quite so sure, there are two playlists in the Ingressi Academy YouTube channel. One is on double summations, and the other one is on um, these NCI series summations. Both of them are linked to uh, in the description to this video. So if you found any of this confusing, maybe go and have a look at those playlists. But the questions aren't going to get any harder than this. Um, and if you can understand this, you should be very well placed. If you've liked this video, um, please like it and um, also subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you very much.